America has the largest Navy in the world by a decent margin. American supercarriers are the face of the U.S. Navy and have enabled powered projection far off from the U.S. homeland. Nimitz-class carriers, which form the backbone of U.S. carrier fleet, as well as the new Ford-class carriers, are the biggest warships to roam the oceans, displacing around 100,000 tons of water. The U.S. is the only nation to operate so many supercarriers since they are very costly to build and operate. American supercarriers are not only an important military platform but are home to thousands of sailors, making them a vital asset for the nation. But time and again military experts have claimed that new age submarines, especially small and very quiet diesel-electric ones, could penetrate the defenses of U.S. carrier strike groups that American supercarriers are part of. These subs could then fire torpedoes that could cripple the supercarriers. Keeping this in view, the U.S. Navy is developing something that will stop the torpedoes before they can hit the warships. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how enemy torpedoes may not be able to touch American supercarriers in the future. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. American carriers do not operate alone but are deployed as part of a carrier strike group. The carrier strike group consists of multiple Ticonderoga class cruiser and Arleigh Burke class destroyers as well as Virginia class attack submarines. Ticonderoga class guided missile cruisers and Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers are equipped with a diverse array of weapons for anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, anti-surface warfare ASUW, as well as have the ability to intercept ballistic missiles through Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. The Virginia class submarines can defeat enemy submarines clear sea mines as well as score hits on land targets. American warships and submarines currently use a combination of electronic warfare jammers and acoustic decoys to confuse and defeat incoming torpedoes. These tend to be effective against torpedoes that use active or passive sonar to home in on their targets. But there are other kinds of torpedoes that have sensors to detect differences in water density which results due to the churning of water from submarines propellers. These torpedoes are basically immune to acoustic decoys and harder to jam with electronic jamming. To counter these torpedoes, an entirely new solution is required. As per the recent U.S. Navy's budget request for 2020 fiscal year, it is looking to provide its submarines the ability to launch small torpedoes. This will not only add new offensive capability but also add all new anti-torpedo defense interceptor capability. The future variants of the weapon could be deployed in unmanned ships or submarines as well as flying drones. The budget asks for more than $60 million to support the continued development of the ANBYG-1 submarine payload control system. Viewers may note that ANBYG-1 submarine payload control system is essentially a software suite that is responsible for controlling different kinds of components like torpedo tubes, vertical launch systems or countermeasures launchers. This suite in different forms is present in almost all the submarines currently used by the U.S. Navy. Interestingly, the budget specifically mentions the integration of anti-torpedo torpedo compact rapid attack weapons program. ATT Craw into the ANBYG 1's control systems. Recently, America's ground based interceptor, GBI, from the ground based mid course defense system has successfully destroyed an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, in a test. 
In the statement, MDA said, The U.S. Missile Defense Agency, in cooperation with the Joint Functional Component Command for Integrated Missile Defense, U.S. Northern Command, and elements of the U.S. Air Force Space Command, conducted a successful test today against an ICBM-class target. The GBI lead destroyed the re-entry vehicle as it was designed to do. To know more, check the video on the above card. A similar approach will be used in this case, where an incoming torpedo will be tracked and taken out by interceptor torpedo. The interceptor torpedo destroys the incoming torpedo by either physically ramming it or with the detonation of an explosive warhead. Another example of this kind of approach is the Afghanit Active Protection System, present in Russian Armada T-14 main battle tank. The system is able to intercept incoming anti-tank missiles, rocket-propelled grenades, and armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarded Sabot APFSDS, rounds by using interceptors. If successful, the system will be a major win as warships and submarines that guard the supercarrier and the supercarrier itself will be able to defend against enemy torpedoes in a much more effective way. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.